And it'll we'll set the lanes for you here for this 400 freestyle. In lane number one, that's Emily Martin from Academy Bullets. In lane number two, Clayton, Caitlin Clements, Magnolia Aquatic Club. Three, Audrey Guyatt, St. Charles Swim Team. Four, Autumn Habick, Ozalki. Five, Rachel Powers, Defect. Six, Kara Trouble, Long Island Aquatic Club. In lane seven, Robin Dreyer, Nation's Capital. And in lane eight, Josephine Grote, Cincinnati Marlins. So we have very tight field behind lane number two, Caitlin Clements. Two through eight turning pretty close together, but Caitlin is really taking it out to the field right now. See if Caitlin can hold on. She's still leading after 150. There are 250 meters remaining. We got a nice little challenge over in lane number seven from Robin Dreyer, Nation's Capital. Moving up on Caitlin Clemens ever so slightly. Caitlin turns at 209.38. Robin Dreyer in lane number seven was the only swimmer under 34 seconds on that 50. She had 33.82. And that's helping her move up, as I said, ever so slightly. Robin Dreyer is closing the gap ever so slightly, down to three tenths of a second now. And actually, Kate, Robin Dreyer is taking over the lead on that turn. Now, Caitlin Clemens is getting a push from lane number three, Audrey Guy in lane four, Autumn Hay, or actually lane five, Rachel Powers. Autumn Habig in lane number four just got out of the higher backstroke, so forgive her for being a little tired. It's a tough double to do. Now Robin Dreyer is pretty convincing lead here, going to the final 75 meters. Robin Dreyer is coming in to win this E-Final of the women's 400 freestyle. Robin Dreyer breathing on both sides, checking out the field, making sure everything's working out. No one's catching her. Lane three, Audrey Guyatt. Lane five, Rachel Powers. They're trying to push. If they can't catch Robin, at least they want to get second. 423.95 for Robin Dreyer. And then it's Audrey Guyatt, 424.85 for second. Robin Powers, Rachel Powers, excuse me, right behind 425.06. Great swimming by Robin Dreyer, just let Caitlin Clements take out the field, take out the, the pace. And she pretty much built through that swim, actually. I think she probably negative split it. 